welcome back to another video. This is Flower Heart Plans. My name is Harley and today I'm going to be decorating my big vertical happy planner and I'm going to use the layered florals sticker book to do that and we are going to jump right into it. So I mentioned in previous videos of this big vertical planner that this is one that I put together myself. This is originally a monthly planner and it has the monthly layout. I took out January through March, so we have April through the rest of the year, but I'm probably going to switch this up in July. And so we have the monthly dashboard layout. Then we have the monthly checklists and I haven't used them yet because I haven't had a reason to use these because this isn't the only planner that I use. My main planner is a B6 Stology. That's where I do most of my to-do lists. Then I have other planners that I use for other areas of my life. So I haven't found a reason to use these daily tasks lists yet. And then this is how the first week in this planner turned out. I'm using this kind of as a journal slash things I need to do. And this was from an old planner. This is from August of, I don't know what year, but I reused it for April, 2024. And I like that it's neutral inside so I could decorate it however I want. So we're going to take the pages out of the planner and decorate it that way. And I want to start decorating ahead in this planner. Today is Saturday the 20th that I'm filming this and I'm decorating for next week, but I want to get a week ahead. So I might put up another video this week of the big vertical layout to decorate ahead in this planner. We'll see if I can actually film that or if I'll just do it off camera. But for the stickers, I'm going to use this sticker book and there are different themes. I used this same sticker book last week and we use the watercolor type of flowers. But this week I'm going to use a different theme and it is this one right here. I thought this one was very cute and whimsical. So we are going to take these pages out. Yeah, these are the only pages of this one. These are very whimsical flowers and I thought it would be great for spring. I've been using a lot of florals, but it's springtime. And I think this will be really fun to use. So we are going to get started. So I also have some washi tape. This is a yellow skinny washi tape by Simply Gilded. And this is an orange solid washi tape that I got a long time ago in a multi-pack. I wanna say I got this from the Dollar Tree, but I don't remember for sure. And so I'm thinking I'm going to put yellow at the bottom just because I do like having some kind of decoration at the bottom of the page. And I want to add the washi tape so I could layer on the stickers if I decide to do that. So we are going to turn this upside down because I want the gold to be on the bottom. And we're just gonna put it along the bottom of the page Again, this is the big vertical, so there is a lot of space to decorate in this planner. I'm going to cut it at the end of the box, but then on this side, I'm going to take it along the entire page to the end of the notes area. That's cute. Oh, I need a monthly. I need a month sticker and I think I have, yeah, this dates and holiday sticker by the Happy Planner. I think I might just use an April from there. 
We also have this April. Because I don't want... I don't want to spend too much time trying to find a sticker. I have lots of month stickers, but I don't want to spend too much time trying to find one. So I think I'll just use this one that looks like it's meant for a corner. We will use this right here at the top. Like that. And I don't think these will show up very well on top of that unless I put April down here, but that will look weird. So I might just use the black. It's a bit small, but I think it'll show up better over the sticker. It's still a bit hard to see because this is clear. I wish it were on paper. Let's see. I could just put it on paper, but then I'd have to like cut around it. Let me see what's in this sticker book. Calendar sticker book by Recollections. I used the Black April from here. And then it comes in gold. Will gold show up on here? No, I prefer black. There's also silver, but I prefer black. So let me put this April back because it's too small which makes it hard to read over that sticker. And these are also on clear sticker paper. Let me just try the green one. Yeah, that's too hard to read. So let me look at my other sticker books. I have this one, Numbers and Days by Agenda 52. I think there are months in here. We could do this black and gold one. It's not my favorite and it'll add a lot of black to the spread, but it would stand out. And I don't want to cover the flower too much. So maybe I'll just put April there like that. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm not going to overthink it. It's fine. It'll do. And last week, or this, not last week, the this current week, I used this area down here as a daily gratitude and I really like that. So I'm going to do that again. And to get the daily gratitude sticker, I'm going to use the encouragement sticker book by the Happy Planner. And they have these daily gratitude stickers that are perfect for that. I just want to put it on top of something else. And I want like a divider here. So first, let me white out the header that says this week's list. So we can put a floral over it and the flowers in here are on clear sticker paper. So I think I'm gonna use this border. And We can take it off the page a little bit, put it there, and then cut it right there, and cut this part too. The rest of this sticker, I would like to use it, but I'm not sure where. So I'm going to put it back onto the sticker page so I could save it for another time. 
And then we can use the orange. I don't use orange that often. So let's use the orange daily gratitude. We can put it there. And then I'm going to take one of my Zig Clean Color Dot Markers. Let's see. We have purple. Oh, I could do green. I don't use green that often either. And I just used it in my Erin Condren planners and I really liked it. I think I'll choose between green and pink. So I'll put the purple one back and I think I'm gonna go with pink. And we can do, we can do the dots here. And then inside the dots, I'm going to write the first letter of the day. And this will be my daily gratitude. I just write down a phrase or a word that reminds me of something to be grateful for or something that I am grateful for on this particular day. Okay, so we have that. And then this will be a notes area. Let's see if we have any other headers in here. Oh, we have mood trackers in here. I'm thinking of setting up a wellness, a health and wellness fitness notebook. So those mood trackers would be great for that, but that's not what we are here for. I want a header, perfect, here, and we will use a to-do header. And I don't like these colors very much, so we will use remember instead. And we will put it here. And then maybe this is where I could use the green, even though there's not a lot of green in here. Let me see what other colors I have. I have purple. I have this dark green, which would match more. I have this reddish pink. Yellow is always a safe choice. I think those will be the go-to go-to options. I kind of want to use yellow. So we will do that. We can go every other line. And I probably won't need all of this space as a to-do list, but it's better to have the space and not need it than to need it and not have it. So I will leave that there. And then the sidebar is done and we can get to decorating the rest of the page. So I really like the layered boxes because they do leave a lot of room to write. So I think I'm gonna just use all of these. And I'm gonna put this one close to the left edge because it sticks out to the right. So we'll put that one there. And then I think I do want to use this orange washi tape. Let me just cut the end because it's not sticky and it's not straight. Well, not that it's not straight, but it was um, wrinkled. So I think I'm going to just layer a little bit there and here.
And what washi tape could I put with it? That is the question. I could put more of the yellow washi tape with it. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. And then we'll put yellow here. I like that yellow and orange together. I don't know why I don't use orange that often. That's really pretty. Simple, but pretty. And so we will continue on. Let's put down We have some of these boxes, so let's do this. Let's put, well, I wanted to use this box, but then I wouldn't be able to use this one because it's the exact same. It just has a writing area in it. So I have to choose which one of those I want. I think I like the one with the writing area in it. And we'll put it down here. That's not very straight, but we are going to not worry about that. Then we can put this one here. Oh, I just tore that one. Let's see if I can salvage this. If not, um, let's see, let's put it here. And then where I tore it, let's see if I could put a flower over it or a quote. Let's use this one that says you got this. Yeah, let's use this one. A happy mistake. I never would have put this quote here had I not torn it, but we have that. And then I do want a flower or something here because I can't really, I guess I could write in this area. Where are the small squares? These. If I use this square here, Let me just lift this up. Oh, it's tearing the page. That's not gonna work. I wanted to lift it up to put the quote over it. Let's see. And of course it's crooked. Why wouldn't it be? So let's try. I'm not gonna get it perfectly straight. Part of me wishes that the Happy Planner, the boxes were lined, but they have an hourly planner that is lined and I don't like the spacing of the lines. So maybe it's better that it's not lined. I, I don't know but I would like something to help me get boxes and decoration straight on the page. Maybe if it were dot grid, that could be an option. And I do want a sticker here. Let's put this green one that says today because there is space at the top there. And then we do have space for a flower here. I kind of want a big one. Yeah, we'll do that. And then down here, I might want lines. Last week, 
actually last week and the week before I drew in lines and that really helped a lot with my writing uh, my writing area. If the box doesn't have lines and it's empty, I will write in it. It's just harder <laughs> to write straight. So we have this sticker we could use. I feel like this page is really sticker heavy but I feel drawn to just like put all the stickers here. I either want this one here or here. And I will put it here on Thursday. And then I need to find something to do with the rest. So we do have this box. To me, this box looks Christmassy, but it could just be the colors, red and green. Yeah, I'll put this one here. Let's move it over just a little bit. And what else do we want to put down? Let me get my stencil. I keep my stencil in the front of my planner. So let's put some lines down on the page. Let's do some here. And I'm going to use my Pentel Inner Gel and a 0.7. I like the 0.7 to draw in the lines because it makes it bolder, but then when I write in the planner, I use a 0.5 of the Pentel Energel Clina. But I like my lines to be a bit bolder than my writing. So we're going to put lines here. And I think I'm not going to do, what am I gonna do checklists? I was gonna say I'm not gonna do checklists this will just be this will just be a journaling area. I think I'll keep it that way. Yeah, just lines. Then we can put lines here. Where else do we want lines? We want lines here. And then we want lines here. And I think, I think I'm just gonna put lines on every day. I think that makes sense because I do journal every day. So let me try to get this lined up. And then for this one, I guess we'll go here. So that one is done and then we just need to put lines here. Okay, so we have lines on each day. I like that. I really, really like that. That's very, very functional for me. But along with the function, I like to have fun. So we are going to put down more stickers because that's what we do around here. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want to use up some of these big flowers. I just don't know where. I really don't know where. Uh, how about, you know what? I don't think I'll be able to use the big ones. I just, I don't know where to put them. If I put them anywhere, they take up a lot of space. So how about we put a quote? Let's just use up all the quotes on this page. 
We have this one that says make all the plans. I'll put it here. And then we have this last one that says, yay, we can put, where can we put this one here? I feel like if I put it here, it's too close to this. You got this and it's the same font. Where could I put this? You know what? This might be where I use one of the big flowers. I'm liking this one because it doesn't look like we've used this floral yet. And I could put it, yeah, anywhere I put it, it's going to take up space. That's my only dilemma. I could put it here in the middle, but then what would I do around it? Cause I wouldn't really, I don't think I would write around it. So I would, should probably just take up one box. So let's put it there. And then I can put I'll put it above it. Yeah, we'll do that. We will do that. I'm trying not to overthink. I've been noticing myself thinking, like spending too much time second guessing myself, thinking about like where to put the stickers a little bit too much. And that's really not the point of, of planning for me. That's not the point of why I decorate my planner. I decorate my planner just to add a little pizzazz to the page, not to make it perfectly uh, aesthetic. So I think I need to just like put something down and live with it instead of saying, well, could I put it here? Should I put it there? Let's just put it down. And if it doesn't look right, either we take it up or we know what not to do the next time. So I'll put that back on the page and I think we're done. And I do have plans that I could write down right now, but other plans might come up that take priority. Specifically, I need to call on Monday to make doctor's appointments. And if I can make those appointments, then other things will get moved. And things usually come up last minute anyway. So I'm going to, put this back on the discs, we can take a quick look and that will be it from me. So let's put this here. And I'm thinking about doing another video where I go through writing in my planner, all my plans. Once I have more of my plans solidified, probably by tomorrow night, by Sunday night, I should know my plans at least for Monday, Tuesday, probably Wednesday. But like I said, Monday, I have to call, make some appointments, things might change. So I don't wanna write in my plans knowing that they might be tentative and I might have to cancel some things, reschedule some things, use a lot of whiteout in my planner. I don't really like doing that. So this is what we decorated for the week of April 22nd through the 28th. I really, really love how this turned out. It's great for a journaling spread. I have lots of space to write and I have my daily gratitude at the bottom. I have checklists and I think, I think this is really, really cute. And I hope that you like it too. Thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.